A bad derailment was caught on dash cam and cell phone. Wabtec and GE finalized their merger. And a neighborhood complains about creosote smelling bad. This is Railroad Showcase. On Tuesday the 22nd, around 9.30 a.m., a Canadian national train carrying grain jumped the tracks near a grade crossing. 30 of the 52 cars derailed. and a fire was started by the engine and its fuel. While no deaths or injuries were reported, some people in their cars were shaken, saying that they could feel the wreck happening. GE Transportation and Wabtec announced a merger as far back as last May, and they've been working on the details since then. It is expected to be finalized in just a few weeks. The terms of the deal have shifted in the last eight months, and the final terms were announced last week. According to Barron's, GE gets more cash up front, which it needs. Wabtec gets a larger share of the combined company for agreeing to the change in terms. Students of railroad history will know that Wabtec used to be a part of Wabco, the Westinghouse air brake company. George Westinghouse formed the company in 1869. He's the man who first came up with automatic train air. Over the years, the Westinghouse Air Brake Company was referred to as Wabco. Confusingly, when the company split in modern times, the railroad side of the company was named Wabtec, and the non-railroad portion kept the name Wabco. UP has been doing track work down around Shreveport, Louisiana. KTBS Channel 3 ran a news story about residents who live next to the tracks complaining about the smell from gondolas filled with ties on a siding behind their homes. The remote broadcast had a reporter on location indicating that when the wind blew, it wasn't as bad. But when the air was still, the creosote smell permeated the surrounding area. One resident complained of respiratory problems. A professor in the neighborhood warned of genetic mutation. These molecules insert into our DNA. They can cause mutations and they can cause changes in gene expression that lead to a variety of conditions. For even more news, be sure to go to rrshowcase.com and sign up as a Gold Spike or Silver Spike member, and that way you'll get the full episodes. We really appreciate your support. Uh, it might not seem like much, but liking, commenting, subscribing, and especially sharing really makes a difference. So remember that you can find us both on YouTube and on Facebook. On Facebook, the group is called Railroad Showcase RPO. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again in a couple days.